we're meant to have this curve looking at it from the side, okay? From the front, he is completely straight. You should see no uh, curve at all. But when you look at it from the side, we have a curve, why? We have a curve because our heads weigh on average eight to 10 pounds. So there is gonna be downward force put on our cervical spine. And because we have that curve, it allows that compression to be distributed, almost like a shock absorber, uh, a spring in a car, so on and so forth. So that's how we want it to look. But Fred is what we call a texter. So Fred very often will take his phone and he will hold his phone like this. And then he is going to look down like this. So if you can see his neck now, because he's texting, let me hold him here, because he's texting, he is straightening out his neck. Now, if you do this one time, no big deal, but most of us do this quite often. So what happens is the ligaments, muscles, and tendons in our neck freeze in that way, or they become used to that way, and therefore they remain like that. So then when he's done doing this and he comes back, the curve of the neck does not necessarily want to go back with it over time. So then that just starts to cause a snowball effect because now his neck is going to remain like this. This is over time and I see this very often. This is called an alordotic cervical curve. That means there's no curve in the neck. 85% of my patients unfortunately have this. Why is it so important? I'm going to put Fred down for just one moment. Let him sit down. And I'm going to show you. So here is Fred's neck blown up. Here's the back. Here's the front. That's how it should look. So when we have compression, it gets distributed through. And that's what we're looking for. But this is Fred's neck as of today. So it is straight. So if anybody watching this has ever used a pogo stick or, uh, you know, just basically it's now a stick with no compression involved, no uh, shock absorber involved now. So anytime he's moving, he's putting downward force and it's gonna put a lot of pressure here at the, at underneath the skull and at the base of the neck here. And over time, what that does, it puts a lot of pressure on these discs, a lot of pressure on these discs. And if not maintained, if not corrected and so on and so forth, those discs will blow out. It's like if you take a balloon and you sit on it, um, depending upon how much you weigh, depending upon how you sit on it, and depending upon the size of the balloon, eventually it's going to pop because it's too much pressure. That's what happens to our discs in our cervical spine when we have too much pressure and there is no curve, okay? Most importantly, you're putting tremendous pressure on the nerve. So you may get numbness and tingling in your hands, in your arm, weakness in your arms, and so on and so forth. More times than not, it's coming from this, your cervical spine. So we do some wonderful things with this. Now, everything that we do, the great thing about it, and potentially the bad thing about it is, it takes time. Chiropractic, we work naturally with your body to get you better, to get you doing better. So it takes time. We become basically the personal trainer of your spine. So initially what we're gonna do is we wanna, there's a ton of inflammation that happens in here when your spine turns like this. Unfortunately, some patients come to us too late when their spine is like that. So that is called a reverse cervical curve. And if you could hopefully tell here the tremendous pressure being put on these discs. Now let me show you again what we should look like that's how it should be and now you can see how opened up those discs are and then i'm going to show you where we don't want to be and you see the compression of those discs the bottom line is most people most people do not know they may have something like this most people don't know they may have something like this the best way to find that out is give us a call let us let you know what is going on with your neck. Um, most situations, we are able to get somewhat of a correction, if not a full correction. 
it really depends on what's going on with you. But what we help you do here is teach you proper posture. We teach you how to sit properly while you're at your desk. We teach you how to, Fred's not really working with me today. We teach you how to sit properly at your desk, at your computer, sitting up straight and then being happy. That's what we do here. So we want you to give us a call. We want you to look us up, the spine and wellness center.com. Well, actually, sorry, it's T S A W C.com or call us 954-341-2256. We do amazing things to help you to be healthier. We help you to feel better and to be doing better. Helping you, if you work, you may work seven, eight hours a day, why not do it properly? Why not do it where it's not causing you major issues, especially down the road? We can help you with all that. All you gotta do is pick up the phone or look at us, look us up on the website. Thank you for watching. Dr. Cohen, the Spinal Wellness Center's Hair and Legs. Have a great day.